بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. I would like to show you what you will learn in this course. I divided into some parts. As you see here, there's some advanced tutorials: arch reinforcement, circular reinforcement, dome reinforcement, pattern surface reinforcement, variable lengths, wall reinforcement with arch opening. Uh, all of these uh, contains some Bismillah. contains some uh, as you see here everything we can do whatever uh, you need like uh, reinforcement and also for for the dome what we have we create a dome uh, with reinforcement as you see here uh, for this one and I'll show you the the, the mm, files uh, and from the drawing is after that we go with drawing is uh, foundation for example foundation detailing uh, as you see here this is the, the detail for the foundation uh, we have uh, let's go with another thing uh, 3d model this 3d view how to export uh, 3d uh, view uh, here we have creating uh, sheets uh, and this is we here we have export sheets to AutoCAD with colors and that's the one one of the best things that uh, ever made uh, as you see here when you ch uh, export to AutoCAD it you will get uh, each bar size with one color okay so you know from the colors uh, uh, like this from the colors you know uh, which uh, bar you are selecting uh, this one one of the uh, good things and uh, here is the assign different colors for different bar size after that exporting as you see even in inside rivet you can assign uh, different bar size to different uh, <coughs> different a different color for different bar size inside the rivet okay after that as you see here uh, the colors after that you can uh, you can uh, export it to uh, export it to AutoCAD okay so uh, we have column reinforcement and making sheets for example it's one of the uh, uh, best things how we can make uh, sheets in in uh, fast way uh, after that if we have families I have to um, create these two family creating brick lines uh, it's one of the important and columns with corbel uh, else you see corbels and reinforcement and this column you see uh, with the reinforcement we have and uh, this for the coloring and uh, from modeling we are modeling some some uh, as here here is the like a starting uh, modeling is a three-story building and uh, this project files uh, some of the project files here okay as you see here uh, if I show you the reinforcement detailing 3d view uh, <coughs> sorry I'll show you uh, this one and uh, let me open this one also and for the reinforcement we have many reinforcements straight reinforcement wall reinforcement and uh, setting cover we uh, I use uh, this uh, type of extension also this is the straight reinforcement so as you see here uh, straight reinforcement how we uh, draw straight reinforcement and uh, this using this this one this uh, CAD extension, uh, CAD rebar extension, to, uh, how to model these uh, cool things. And again, uh, spiral column. We have uh, if we have a spiral column, how we we can uh, set the reinforcement for it. As you see, just like this. And after that, what you have, we have some tips and tricks. Uh, for example, creating a reinforcement chair how we can make it uh, customize the annotation uh, annotation take uh, bar as you see here uh, we have uh, some annotation bar how we can customize it uh, as you see for the detailing uh, if we go back uh, somewhere that you see this is how to, to be like this on uh, how we can put whatever we want uh, there are some things save uh, selection and the other thing is that a rebar constraint which is uh, 
specify the, the lengths or the distances between bars, the lengths of the overlap and uh, things like this so we can put it automatically. We can put and after that it will work automatically. And uh, this is about the, the, the files and if we go with Revit, uh, as you see here, is this one of the files that, uh, one of the tutorials that I discuss uh, many things on uh, here how to draw like something like this with arch opening and uh, putting a reinforcement after that uh, as you see here uh, this one is inclined but the column is uh, straight comes straight uh, the rebar and after that we put uh, some of the rebars some additional uh, re uh, re rebars for uh, here uh, if you cl I close this one Another thing we have here, this is this uh, spiral uh, column. I discuss how we c you could uh, make spiral column for this. And uh, this is uh, also how to set variable lengths. Uh, if we I go with 3D, variable lengths of uh, stirrup. As you see, this is we have uh, something like this, it's, uh, a beam like this. So how we can set the, the variable uh, stirrup again from here how we put uh, any kind of foundation and put a reinforcement as you see here when you have a, an opening uh, it will work uh, with uh, hooks also uh, there are some, some two, two types one type we can we can do it and one type if we have a void inside the slab we can uh, make uh, or uh, continue with this one so the reinforcement will be continue not cut uh, Another thing uh, is uh, holocaust slab. How we could, if you have holocaust slab, how we can make holocaust slab in a rabbit? Uh, it's very easy. And uh, other thing is the dome reinforcement. As you see, we have the dome reinforcement here. As you see how how we can how we can set the dome reinforcement because it's, as you know, you can uh, for the dome we cannot set all the bars up to here. We have to cut uh, half of it. From uh, a distance, so as we uh, so as not to be cr uh, very crowded here. So uh, how we can make this one, and how we can make horizontal rebar. Uh, so this is one of the lessons. Uh, again, what we have here, we have sometimes, uh, as you see, we know, uh, we have section uh, change, section change because we have a column in the uh, lower lower uh, column we have a, a dimension but the for the upper because we don't have a such load uh, the, the, the dimension of the column will, will decrease so how we how we can put uh, this detail how we put uh, this detail in Revit uh, also I discussed in one uh, of the my videos and uh, this is one of the um, how we can uh, you see how we can uh, draw uh, draw and copy reinforcement for foundation, for column, for beams. Uh, I discussed about that also in my uh, course. Uh, another thing uh, is uh, by using, uh, making reinforcement by using uh, CAD's rebar extension. So how we ca can use this one. Uh, also, I discussed about uh, that also. Okay, let me uh, close this one. Another thing, uh, sometimes when we have an uh, arch, so how we can distribute, how we can distribute the syrup is according to the, the, the according to, you see, uh, the bar and the, the uh, uh, syrup according to this arch, according to this radius of the, of the arch. As you see, uh, by default, we cannot do uh, something like this. So uh, I, I'll show you how we, you, you can make something like this. Another, another video, uh, or let me uh, talk about uh, this one first. Uh, another thing, as you see here, we have again a stirrup and a circular beam. How, so how you, you can uh, draw a circular beam, draw a circular beam and a circular uh, reinforcement. You see, now it's like this. So how you can uh, solve this problem if you have a circular uh, beam uh, in your uh, project. Another thing is, uh, uh, have um, have co um, uh, a column has a curable curable and uh, putting reinforcement for that as you see here and again assigning assigning color color different color for different 
both sides. This is here uh, I, I, from from the the picture I can I can see this uh, different bar from this one and from this one. So it doesn't need to to be uh, even to read uh, the the bars also. As here is number four bar. I think it's number seven. Yeah, uh, and uh, this number three bar. As you see here, we can do so. How we can make these kind of cool uh, uh, columns? Uh, column uh, corbel detail so I showed you also uh, the the two buildings is is uh, open and I showed you also how you uh, this is the building that I worked on uh, with a stair with the things like this uh, as you see how we can model something like this and uh, by the way as you see here here is the, the foundation and this is the core this wall how we can make uh, a building like this okay we have this one and uh, this one also this is the building uh, that i create uh, this this folder just for uh, or this file just for uh, uh, importing to autocad because we, uh, sometimes we have autocad file we have to bring it uh, up into the revit so uh, this is the course uh, talking about and uh, i think you will you'll, you'll learn a lot of, uh, a lot of things if you uh, after watching all the, all the uh, videos uh, and uh, I will continue with making videos on my ch YouTube channel but uh, this is a special course that uh, many uh, for the for the whom who, who ask me how, why I'm not not uh, making courses uh, from this the from the beginning to the to the uh, last thing uh, however Revit as you know Revit is a very very a uh, huge program so we cannot uh, talk about everything in one course or two courses also uh, there are many things remain uh, I'll try to, to explain one by one uh, in my future uh, things uh, also uh, however uh, Revit 2021 has uh, what a tab on, on, on uh, steel uh, for steel let's say for steel but However, because I'm, I'm using using advanced steel for for steel uh, steel uh, constructions, uh, I didn't uh, talk about this this program. I prefer also uh, anyone who work with with uh, steel structure uh, to learn advanced steel because it's, it's a very huge program and uh, not only this. Uh, by the way, the, the um, advanced steel and Revit is uh, the same pro uh, the same. Uh, company so uh, there's no company in the world that make two two uh, two uh, software two programs with the same capacity okay uh, the the capability of, of advanced steel is, is a lot of it's it's very huge okay uh, how can I, I don't I don't know how, how can I describe it uh, it's very very huge and then the drawing is when you have a good template for drawing is it gives you the best kind of drawing is uh, so clear drawing is so you can uh, you don't have you don't want to uh, uh, use a rivet because a rivet as you see here, however you know, we have some some things but it cannot give us as the 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 plates the shape of the plates it it, it can be achieved it can be achieved I'm not saying that it's not, it cannot be achieved it can be achieved but it's in in uh, not in such a way that we can uh, take it from advanced steel so here here the the course and uh, I hope you all uh, take benefit from it and uh, hope you all uh, to uh, become uh, a very uh, good uh, structural detailer in uh, Revit. So